right, here it is. This is the brand new camera cart from Salins. And we picked this up at NAB, right off the show floor, rolled it out. Uh, so this is brand new and we have not even unboxed it yet, even though we saw them there at the show. So what I'm gonna do today is unbox this cart and show you what's inside and how it goes. We also crammed a couple accessories into here before we rolled off the floor. So first off, it comes with this nice little slip cover. It says Salins on it. It's got a little pocket here. You can put some things in. And there's a Velcro strap on the bottom. Uh, in reality, this cover totally gets in the way when you're rolling it because it catches on the wheels, so we will not be using this. So this is the cart without the cover. It's pretty clean, straightforward. Nice metal design. Give it the twirl. There's the front, the back. Pretty straightforward. This is where the wheels are gonna mount. So I just put this on the scale and weighed it in at 120 pounds. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this cart is designed with some cool little quick release latches that you can flip. I love how sturdy the construction is on this thing. It's definitely made out of metal. It's got some decent reinforcements in it. So it's a good solid design of all the carts, not light, but solid. Of all the carts that we checked out, um, this was my favorite. Um, obviously I liked the innovative carts, but didn't like the price tag. Um, there were other carts that were uh, even cheaper than this one, but I didn't like the durability and the uh, sturdiness of them. So we really liked the balance on this cart of price and durability. So let's open up and see what we got in here. These are the extras we'll get to in a minute. We've got four wheels, we've got four posts, we've got two crossbars, handles because this does come with some nice handles. Okay, what am I gonna open first? The wheels are nice and big, sturdy casters. Um, cool little locking design, so that's nice. There is a brake lock um, on two of them. And we got screws flying, that's exciting. Good thing I know where they came from. So, we've got some locks here, here, and here. Those are for putting the cart together. After I finished the satisfying unboxing, this is the side that the wheels uh, will get attached to. Uh, it does have some roller skate wheels here for uh, rolling along when it's not folded, uh, and they work good when there's no uh, lid getting caught in them. Uh, these have a little clip lock design. They just slide right on. and they can be slid anywhere along this. Uh, there's also uh, mounting points down here. I don't know why you would mount something down there, but you can. Uh, you can pull that back against the safety, and then uh, there is a little quick release button here, so that helps keep it from sliding off, which is nice. So now, intermission while I tighten the loose screws holding this plate on. Uh, this is the one that came a little loose, so you can probably see in there. That. I note that there is no Loctite on these screws, so they come right out. So that's a good note. Uh, when you get this thing, make sure you uh, check the Loctite on these screws because otherwise they will shake loose on you as you're rolling around. That would be an exciting thing to find out on a shoot. So I will be going through and adding Loctite uh, to my screws. All right, it's starting to look like a cart now. There's just a simple locking lever here. Pop it in, push the lever, locked, done, quick and easy. Let's go ahead and put the top on. So the top has two sets of levers. So that's closed all around. And we'll lock those levers. These supports have lots of holes. Uh, these are all 3 8 mount holes uh, and then just some straight holes. The way this attaches is the swings on, clamp comes around, tighten it on, boom, it's attached. And these are ratchet. Next we have the handles. Again, twist, stick it where you want it, and 
tighten. Cart is built. Finishing touch is these guys. Flip this open, pull this cap off, drop that pole in. Now, you've got a stand. Stands up, nice and high, but shrinks right back down. Put the stand in. There's the front view on the cart. The front of this lip also comes down. So you have desktop access. So that's the initial unboxing for the Salins Easy Station camera cart. I did have an issue with one of the brakes. I ended up removing it, which made things roll smooth. So right now we're running on one brake until I can fix that. Overall, I'm happy with the cart, especially for the price that I paid for it. And I'm looking forward to doing another part where we roll it around and see how it works on set.